with ever increasing resources and infinite potential. India is the land of future and it is fast emerging as a global powerhouse. Welcome to the India of tomorrow where success is so predictable being the second largest online market in the world with billion hearts beating India has become the fastest growing economy which is hugely dependent on network connectivity a country with rich diversity having more than 100 world class universities and successfully graduating 1.2 million engineers every year India inherently comes with a vast pool of qualified new skill talent to bank upon. Backed up by strong youth population, grow ranging between 15 to 24 years of age, which is contributing towards 35% of the total population, and great investment ground for many multinational companies in this cost-effective and competitive market. With countries' telecommunication policy regime, now permitting resale of all telecom services through virtual network operator license. It has opened doors for new opportunities to global carriers like AT&T to contribute in the growth towards digital India. AT&T India was the first global telecom company to be accorded National Long Distance NLD and International Long Distance ILD licenses. In July 2006, AT&T formed a joint venture with Mahindra Telecommunications Investment with 74% ownership. But today, AT&T has 100% ownership. Since then, AT&T in India has come a long way. For the first five years, AT&T in India grew the business at about 25 to 30% CGAR. By 2007, AT&T in India also started to build up the skills for back office network management functions to serve our customers globally. With the acquisition of second wave of IBM business and acquiring technical skills on various aspects of our services marked the beginning of AT&T back office operations for AT&T worldwide in India. In India, AT&T today is a major player in the enterprise segment providing world-class data services to enterprise customers covering Indian affiliates of multinational companies and India headquartered companies. These customers enjoy the same high quality services of AT&T that are available in the US and other parts of the world with capabilities demonstrated in new eras like AIC Cloud, Domain 2.0, Mobility and Data Science. India can certainly prove to be a good launch pad for many back office work due to higher technical skills, an attractive knowledge economy, hub for the global talent pool and diversified business presence which is supported by strong local leadership. Today, AT&T in India has nodes in every metropolitan city and is operating from six major corporate offices with more than 2,300 strong employee strength, offering most of the strategic AT&T services and support for products like AVPN, Unified Communication, Security, NetBond, Cloud, Network Integration and many more to our customers in India. AT&T in India is fully focused and is all geared to strengthen the vision for amplifying the new era of digital revolution. Our leadership in India has a strategic vision aligned to our chairman's priorities and sees larger picture through multiple lenses of technology, markets, costs and above all engaging resources with higher purpose of self-actualization trending at an employee attrition rate of approximately half the prevailing industry standards on an average gives a view on AT&T India's positive employee net promoter score which eventually leads to better results and efficiency finding appropriate talent in this young educated and dynamic population with multiple locations to choose from makes the availability and scalability of setting up new functions and introductions of new roles which is tied up with countries favorable labor laws very easy and attractive for the investors and investments in India. Hi this is Thomas Harvey Senior Vice President Client Solutions and Operations here at the Enterprise Leadership Forum in Delhi India 
What I like to say is India is an incredible country, rich in cultural uh, diversity and, and tradition. Over the years, as a company, AT&T has invested in India, not only for the business opportunity here, but more so the talent and quality of the people. We continue to see major contributions from the Indian employees as we continue to evolve the business, grow the business, and deliver outstanding results. So with that, I'd like to thank uh, India for uh, embracing me uh, here over the past couple of days, and I look forward to visiting again here uh, in the next, uh, next few months. Not digressing away from our social responsibilities, at and in India is also very actively contributing to our society by either sponsoring or participating in various social causes as part of CSR and other programs. Hello, I'm Bernard Yi, Regional President for at and Asia Pacific. I'm so happy to be back in India uh, to visit our customers as well as for the Enterprise Leadership Forum. Over the past few days, I've had the opportunity to visit a number of our customers and I've heard many of the great things that you as employees of at and have been doing supporting both our customers in India as well as our customers globally. And for that, I want to thank you very much. I want to thank you for your dedication to our clients and all the hard work that you put in to deliver services to our customers. I've been coming to India for about 20 years for, to, to do business here and I've seen the tremendous progress that this country has made and I've seen many of the, our great customers both do well within India as well as Indian customers really conquering the global marketplace. And AT&T, more than anybody else, is, better, is best positioned to help our customers navigate this new digital transformation journey. So I want to thank you once again for all your dedication to our clients and thank you um, on behalf of at and for all the great work you do for us. Thank you. From envisioning to the dawn of this digital revolution to providing a best-of-class service, at and India has been a dedicated and loyal partner in India's consistent development and rapidly growing connectivity business. Valuing the immense potential we have, we can offer better and best recipe towards success. Changing the definition of IT to India of tomorrow, we welcome you on board.